Did you do this, Mindy? Did you bury my glove? You did, didn't you? Oh my god. I think you're actually a horse, not a dog. It's a sunny Sunday afternoon, people. And I've been having a look at Google Maps to see what road I would like to go up today. So I found one here called Hervey Range Road, which looks to have some excellent twisties on it. So, given my lack of skill in corners, I hope I don't die. Ooh. Army boys are out doing stuff. Okay. Hervey Range Road, what you got for me? Oh, I thought it was going to begin here. Corvette. Don't see many of them in this neck of the woods. They don't make them in right-hand drive, and as such, they've never been very popular in Australia as a result, as you have to get them specially converted over. There is a company down in the Sunshine Coast, I think they are, that convert over Corvettes and Ford F-150s to right-hand drive, so you do see them occasionally. I cannot stress enough just how beautiful North Queensland is. Mountains right next to the sea, weather that's near perfect for most of the year, although it gets a bit wet and humid in the summer. But today it's about 25 degrees, there isn't a cloud in the sky, the roads are bone dry. Warm enough to be pleasant to ride, still cool enough that I can wear my leathers in full gear. It's a good day to be on a bike, definitely. Despite Australia's reputation of being flat and barren, most of the east coast, as you can see there, is mountainous. The Great Dividing Range runs right the length of the east coast. As most of the population lives in the east coast, that means there are plenty of excellent, excellent roads here. Beautiful, twisty, mountainous roads all down the east coast. If you live in most of the populated areas, you do not have to go far to find somewhere that's a bit fun. Jesus, I appear to be riding into Jurassic Park here. I fully expect a herd of Triceratops to just come walking across the road here. Aha! Uh -huh. There was a sign warning of motorcycle crashes there, so I take it to mean that we're finally getting to the good part. Okay. Inexperienced rider who's not used to twisty mountain roads rides on twisty mountain road. Gentlemen, I'm not the only one who's had this good idea, am I? Okay. Now we get to the good stuff. Thankfully the road surface is absolutely excellent, so that's one thing I don't have to worry about at least. We'll drop a cog here for the hill. Ooh, it is a bit bumpy there. But hey, so far so good. Okay, next twisty. Holy shit, that view, lads. Seriously beautiful place. Ooh. Oh, that was nice. I am going to be taking my time here, people. If you're looking for some mad knee-dragging action, you have come to the wrong place. I'll probably call this video Nervous 36-year-old Go Slowly Around Bends. 
You know what? Let's have a look at the view here, because it's pretty goddamn amazing. That is bloody amazing. I'm gonna film this on my other camera, hang on, it'll look much better. That is absolutely epic. Just jungle, mountains, the works. And there's the Yamaha people. God, I love that thing. 320 cc and it's all you need on a road like this you'll have an absolute ball in it without having to do 200 kilometers an hour and get yourself arrested right we shall continue if it will go into first there we go Ooh, bit of gravel there. Right, on we go. God, this is good. Australia really has some legitimately excellent roads. Where are we here? Tea rooms! We'll go there, I think. I wouldn't mind an old cup of tea. A few moments later. Here we go. Let's have an old gander down here, shall we? Ooh, this is all very pleasant, isn't it? I have no idea what exactly is down here, if there's like a town or something like that, but uh, let's find out, shall we? Well, we've got some cars parked here anyway, which is good. Ooh, I'm not even the only biker here. <laughs> I really need to get a dirt bike, don't I? Five minutes later. So I'm at the bottom of the hill now and I just stopped to check did my footage record. And it didn't, so do you know what that means, kids? That means I get to go back up the hill again. How bad? We'll call it a happy accident. Oh, actually no, we're going to go back because my oil light is flashing. Damn it. I must be low on oil. Fuck. I am a fair way away from a petrol station here too, which is uh, a bit problematic. Oh well, I'm sure I've enough to get me where I'm going anyway. I suppose I probably should have checked the oil before I set off, but uh, you know, sometimes I'm a dumbass like that. What can you do? Okay, so I just pulled in and the actual oil flashing thing there on the dashboard means that it's due a service. And I actually did know this and I don't know why I started panicking. But sure, there you go. And I knew it was uh, due an oil change soon anyway, so uh, 
I suppose I'd better do one. Okay, now to enjoy the rest of my ride. Ah, gross. Just gonna pull in here for a second and show you something a bit fucking mad. I went on about how uh, beautiful Australian roads were and how fun they are. And um, now to show you what's really bloody dangerous about them. I'm just gonna walk back up here for a second. And ladies and gentlemen, if you are a bit squeamish, you might wanna skip the next few seconds. Okay, that ladies and gentlemen is what's left of an Eastern Grey Kangaroo. And uh, they're one of the main reasons why riding on Australian roads can be a bit dangerous at times, particularly at night. You see, roos are actually nocturnal. They're normally out between dusk and dawn. And when they are out at night, they have no road sense whatsoever and uh, frequently just jump out in front of cars. Not only that, they get kind of mesmerized by the headlights. So when you do see one on the road, it just will just stare at your headlights and not move. And kangaroos are quite big. That was actually quite a small one there, but uh, the kangaroos you have around here, which would be the Eastern Grey, they can be over six feet tall and weigh like 80, 90 kilograms. So it would be similar in size to a fully grown adult human, but uh, all the weight is down the bottom. So um, if you hit one of those, it's going to go straight through your bumper and into your engine and will wreck your car. Of course, that's if you're lucky enough to be in a car when you see one, because if you see one of those on a bike, well, you're going to die. You are definitely, definitely not going to have a good day if you hit one of those on a motorbike. So yeah, Australian roads, as you saw earlier, they can be very beautiful, but uh, they can also be a very, very dangerous. Around here as well, you also have to worry about loose cattle, wild horses as well. In fact, there are reportedly a lot of wild horses living north of Townsville between here and Cairns. And apparently cars have hit them, resulting in fatalities in recent times. That's scary. So uh, you definitely want to have your wits about you around here. And I'd like to point out that I'm just outside the suburbs of Townsville here. It's not like I'm in a remote area. I'm probably about 15 kilometers as the crow flies from Townsville city center. So, uh, yeah, you don't have to go far to find them either. I suppose I could always reset that service reminder, couldn't I? I'm sure someone's put a tutorial on YouTube about it. Ah, screw it, I'll just get the oil changed tomorrow. Actually, I'll do it myself. Stay tuned for a video entitled Idiot Fails Miserably at Changing Motorbike Oil. Should be fun. Anyway, with that, I'm going to leave it there for today. I will talk to all of you lovely people later on. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, please hit the old subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. Of course, that's if you enjoyed it. If you thought this video was crap, leave me a dislike and a passive-aggressive comment. Anyway, good luck.